My husband told me that he listens outside the bathroom door the entire time I'm showering to see if I'm self-pleasuring. Like six months ago my husband, 26 male, came bursting into the bathroom to catch me, 21 female, using my vibrating toy in the shower. He threw a hissy fit about it and said that it was basically cheating, and guilted me into apologizing and promising not to do it again. The next time we went to use my toy, during love making as we basically always did, it had stopped working, mysteriously in hindsight. I often used it in the shower I guess just because that's basically the only time I get to myself. I eventually just turned to using the shower head and one time he pounded on the door during to ask what I was doing. Again, I didn't really think much of it at the time. Tonight I was showering, and not doing anything else, and when I came out he was being short and pissy with me. I asked if everything was okay and he says, so how was your shower? I said fine? Confused. He goes on to say he knows what I was doing in there and I responded by asking what he was talking about, to which he replied that every time I shower he sits outside the bathroom door and listens to see if I'm self-pleasuring. I was so shocked I didn't even know what to say. How can I tell him that this is a violation of my privacy and personal space without him feeling like I'm disrespecting him? Edit to answer some questions, I'm going to try and answer a handful of the most frequently asked questions here. 1. We got together when I was 17 and got married last September. 2. I'm not on birth control as he says it disrupts your hormones and destroys your body, and I got pregnant around Christmas, but miscarried and he told me that it was because I eat like shit and don't take care of myself. 3. My family does not like him and never has, and his family does not like me and never has. There is no harmony between our families and I rarely see mine anymore as a result. 4. He is controlling in many aspects of life, which I did not really realize until now. He judges me for what I wear, what I eat, what I read, who I hang out with, what I watch, what I listen to, etc. 5. If ever I was not with him anymore I have no money and no place to go. I'm graduating university this year and he owns the house we live in Sole in his name. My money is his money. I would have to go back to live with my parents. 6. I do not grow up religious and we met through mutual friends. 7. We are both from the same hometown but no longer live there. We're about 6 hours away. This was a mutual decision however and was not forced on me by him. If anything it was more my idea. 8. He has never physically hurt me and does not yell or scream. He shuts down when he's angry and will ignore me for days on end while I literally beg him to talk to me. 9. He has never essayed me in any way and our life in the bedroom is fine but he is the only person I've ever made love with so I don't know. 10. I'm going to sit down and talk to him and have my dad on standby, outside the house, to intervene in case he escalates. I am not currently considering divorce and am going to try and work with him. It's not an excuse but his family is insane and I don't think he knows what he's doing isn't okay. 11. He does track my location through our iPhones but we have each other's locations and I look at it sometimes if I get home and he's not there to see where he is or whatever. I've never really viewed it as being invasive. Edit. Also this is not an opportunity or an invite to message me and tell me how much better you'd be for me or ask me to describe to you how I self-pleasure. It's also not helpful to tell me that I am the issue and that you'd be pissed off too. Thanks. Update two days later, thank you so much to all of the amazing people who commented and reached out. I wasn't able to respond to anywhere near all of them but I am so grateful to everyone for opening my eyes to how toxic and unhealthy this situation is. So, I called my dad and basically just explained that we were having some issues, and just to ease my mind I wanted him to come down and be nearby when I talked to my husband. He did not press for more info and told me that he was on his way. He and my mom live about 6 hours away, so it's not exactly a very ideal ask but he didn't even hesitate, which I am grateful for. He arrived Friday night and parked outside our condo and we agreed that I'd call him and immediately hang up if I needed him to come inside, in case my husband got aggressive or angry. I did not expect him to, since he never has before, but some of the comments made me feel like I'd better be safe rather than sorry. I debated all day Friday about how exactly to approach this situation and how I could trigger this conversation without him shutting down or getting angry. I decided to casually approach the conversation and ask him how he'd feel about me getting another toy to replace the one that mysteriously broke after he caught me using it in the shower. In response he asked what for? To which I replied because it feels good. I knew this would be his response, but it was something along the lines of what, am I not good enough? As it usually was in the past. I explained to him that it has nothing to do with him not being good enough, and that lovemaking is supposed to be fun and experimental and interesting and that it was just something that would make it better for both of us. He then suggested that I just wanted it to use on myself, to which I asked if that would be a problem. He told me that I know how he feels about that and so I asked him why he was bothered by the idea of me self-pleasuring. He got very defensive and asked why I would want that when I could have him, so I asked if he ever felt like he'd rather just pleasure himself rather than going through the motions of making love. He said no and that he's not a beta who spends his days stroking when he could be doing anything more productive. I explained to him that that was okay, it was his preference but that sometimes my intimate desires are to pleasure myself versus having sex. That's when his same ridiculous argument came out of that being basically cheating. Pulling from another Redditor, I explained that cheating involves multiple people, and that it is impossible to be cheating if I am alone. He told me to piss off and go stick the shower head between my legs. 
I started to get upset and realized that here is when I always back down. I feel the need to apologize and make him feel better, I'd usually have started something and would end up guilt screwing him because I felt bad, but I didn't. I told him that he made me feel like he was trying to control me and my body and that I wasn't okay with that. He told me I could go be an effing whore somewhere else then and got up off the couch and ran upstairs. I could hear him slamming my drawers open and acting like he was putting my clothes in a bag. I resisted the urge to run up there after him and just decided to sit there and see what would happen. Eventually he came back downstairs and apologized and said that he's very uncomfortable with the idea of me self-pleasuring in our home, when I asked him to explain why, he said because it makes him feel unwanted. I told him that this isn't true, and that I do want him, but sometimes I just want that and he said okay I guess. I decided to leave it at that for the night, and didn't want to press any further. I told my dad it was okay to go and that I was so sorry for wasting his time and he told me he'd be staying the weekend at a hotel just to be safe. Eventually we went up to bed and I realized if I left it that it would just get swept under the rug like it always does. I go on putting up with this until it came full circle again and I was not going to do that to myself. I decided to ask him about him telling me that he listened to me when I showered. I told him I wanted to talk about it and he told me that he was just joking and that I'm a moron if I actually thought he was serious. I told him that it was an odd joke, especially considering he was angry and very much not laughing when he told me. He insisted that he was joking and I told him that I didn't believe him. He then responded by saying he wouldn't do it again. This went in circles for a bit before he finally admitted to deciding to do this after catching me in the shower. Instead of accusing him of anything, I asked him if he thought that was an invasion of my privacy, to which he informed me that we are married and I do not have privacy. I told him that was an issue and that in order to have a healthy marriage we both needed privacy. He was determined that there is so such thing as privacy in marriage, so I flat out asked him if he wanted me in the bathroom while he was pooping. He said no, I said right, because you want your privacy. He told me that's different. Over the course of the next 10 minutes or so, this escalated from a simple conversation into a full-blown screaming match, and we got absolutely nowhere in our argument. It was like talking to a brick wall. I was so heated by this point that I don't even remember what was said, but he eventually told me I was, a worthless whore, that I had nothing without him, that my badge was disgusting and made him sick, that I was fat and no one will ever want me, I'm 125 pounds by the way, that I'm lucky someone like him would even look in my direction, etc, etc, etc. I could barely see my phone through the tears and I called my dad and asked him to come get me. My husband looked at me and said your f***ing dad isn't driving 6 hours to come get you you dumb f***. I started to grab some random things of mine and yelled that he was here staying in town, and he broke down and started sobbing. He told me that he knows he's controlling, that he has serious issues, and that he's terrified of losing me. He said that he knows he's not good enough for me and that he's so afraid of losing me that he's pushing me away to save himself the inevitable heartache. He said that if he ever lost me he'd unalive himself. As I watched this grown-ass man snotting and crying in a heap on the floor, I kinda realized that I feel nothing for him. Like, nothing. The blinders I've been wearing were removed and I no longer saw the handsome, intelligent, caring, strong man I once did. I saw a pathetic, hurtful, controlling, sad, and sick person. I came to the realization in that moment that there's no fixing this, and even if he does change, I would never trust him or see him in the same way again. My dad knocked on the door and my husband ran and hid in the bathroom. I took my bags and went outside to meet him. He asked me if I wanted to talk about what was going on and I said no. He asked what I needed from him and I asked if we could just go back to his hotel room. He asked if my husband hit me and I said no. Before we had even gotten to the hotel my husband began texting me. It started with pleading with me to stay and forgive him and turned into insults over the course of the next day or so. He never threatened me physically, but told me if I didn't come home I'd lose him forever, that I'd be losing out on the best man I'd ever have, etc, etc. He told me that his friends laughed at him for being with such an ugly beach, that his parents hate me because they know I'm not good enough for him, that I couldn't get pregnant because I'm probably a f***ing whore banging other guys on the side that he was embarrassed to be seen with me in public, and so much more. I'm leaving. And not because Reddit told me to, because I'm genuinely not even remotely interested in staying with him because I deserve better. I spoke to a friend from school, and will be staying with her until I'm done school next month. After that, I'm going home to figure some things out and get a fresh start. I'm currently in bed in a hotel room with my dad and have never felt more loved or safe. He is going to go over to the house tomorrow and retrieve my belongings, after which he is helping me move into my friend's apartment, and then heading home. I don't have much to say at this point other than thank you again to everyone who made me realize how dangerous this situation could have been. I was determined that we were not going to divorce but after Friday night I don't think there's any going back to that. I'm over it. I might update again, I might not. But making that post genuinely might have saved my life. Thank you.